Hello everyone. Today I was playing a tournament and um, I was playing white and I encountered one of the um, moves from black. My opponent plays Sicilian dragon. Even I also played dragon from black side. So that's why I just wanted to show you one of the traps which uh, black player can fall. So that trap today my opponent fell for that trap. So that's why I suddenly remembered when I my, when I played that game, I suddenly remembered that okay, let me put this uh, idea in the channel so that uh, everyone will be aware of this and they will not fall for traps. Okay, so I will come up with so many like you know ideas like showing the traps from white side and from black side in any kind of uh, opening or any kind of uh, position. It it may not be from opening always. It can be from any one of the positions, right? Like a mid game position or sometimes in the end game position. In end game, so many uh, traps are there actually. Mm -hmm. And oh, of course, even in the mid game also. But um, usually, everyone will uh, show the opening traps. But here, this trap I felt like to show you because um, one, two. Two weeks back or maybe three weeks back I played one more tournament there also one of my opponents fell for uh, the same trap of ng4 so that's why let me show you that uh, uh, trap here and you can be aware of it if black plays that uh, particular move white can take advantage and white can win a piece and my suggestion for black players is to be aware of this and don't uh, fall for this trap particular trap okay yeah let me show you that e4 c5 knight f3 d6 d4 c takes d4 knight takes d4 knight f6 knight c3 g6 dragon in this position white plays bishop e3 this is the main line and uh, black's best continuation is to play bishop g7 preparing to do castling and now if white plays queen d2 then black can consider playing knight g4 please uh, like focus properly let me show you the moves again from this particular point after bishop e3 okay black should play bishop to g7 or maybe Knight c6 is also playable, but bishop g6, the knight g6 may not lead to some kind of uh, okay position for me. It may be little inferior move, that doesn't matter. But bishop g7 is uh, usually played. But in of bishop g7, if black plays knight to g4, harassing the bishop on uh, e3, sorry, this is losing move. Because here white can play bishop b5 check. If knight c6, fine, knight into c6, uh, b into c6, bishop into c6, bishop d7, bishop into a8, and uh, of course white is completely winning. So that's why black will not reply knight after okay after bishop b5, black will not play knight c6. If black plays knight b d7, I mean to say knight d7, of course, not necessarily b d7, in your have to mention that knight d7, then you can simply capture on g4. So, black's normal continuation is bishop d7. Once bishop d7 is played, now bishop is still protecting the knight on g4, but there is a problem. The problem is this pin. I think you are all aware of pin. If you are not aware of pin, I will come up with uh, a series. Uh, to show you the pin problems okay yeah after bishop d7 white can just capture on g4 with the queen because now bishop into queen is not possible because of there is a pin for the black king and here uh, they will play bishop into b5 and uh, fine knight into b5 white is having already white is having an extra piece so white can win this position because of extra piece so that's why my suggestion is after white plays bishop e3 black should just continue with the bishop g7 and uh, white will play f3 to stop knight g4 now 
then black and play knight to c6 or black and do castling and this is the normal continuation okay so that's why i just wanted to show you this please don't play knight g4 once white plays bishop e3 don't play knight g4 because of bishop b5 bishop d7 queen into g4 white wins a piece thank you and um, see you in next video bye guys